Hello, film fanatics. We are watching the first scary slash horror slash thriller movie on this channel, The Shining. It's also my first Jack Nicholson movie and my first Stanley Kubrick movie. Wow. We are popping a lot of cherries tonight. It is 2 a.m. and I'm watching a scary movie by myself. Is that a good idea? I don't know, but this is my homework. I am going to be in a horror film that's shooting in a couple weeks in Los Angeles. And the producer gave me some homework. He wants me to watch The Shining and The Exorcist. I'm not ready to watch The Exorcist alone at two in the morning. So we're gonna start with The Shining. I feel like it's the lesser of the two evils. All right, where are we? What are we driving through the Everglades here? It's a beautiful winding road and the trees and the mountains. Creepy. The musical score is already creeping me out and we're 30 seconds in. I like how we're just looking at the car driving. We don't even know who's in there. A Stanley Kubrick film. Jack Nicholson. Shelley Duvall. I've never seen a movie with her in it. The Shining. The music is getting worse, you guys. I wanted to stop. I wanted to stop. Oh, look at the car just stopped on the highway. What the heck? We're going higher and higher on the mountain. Where are we going? I don't like this. I hope I never hear this music again. Based upon the novel by Stephen King. Cool. Stephen King writes some creepy stuff. Okay, screenplays by Stanley Kubrick. I miss when they used to do the credits like this in movies. They don't do this anymore. We don't get these slow intros. Mm -mm. What is this from 1980? This is way before I was born. Movies are just different. They, we don't see this anymore. Wait, what is this? We're, this is some kind of lodge hotel? It says that this is shot in Montana. Okay, we're in Montana. I've never been to Montana. Part one, the interview. I've got an appointment with Mr. Allman. My name's Jack Torrance. Jack Torrance. Seems like a normal dude. There's something just naturally unhinged looking about Jack Nicholson. Mr. Allman, I'm excited yeah, to I'm see Jack his character Torrance. in this. I know it's one of his most iconic roles. People rave about him Susie. Would you ask Bill Watson to join us? Yes, I will. So is he interviewing to maybe work here at this hotel in the mountains? Mom, do you really want to go and live in that hotel for the winter? Sure I do. It'll be lots of fun. Oh, they're gonna live in it. Great. There's hardly anybody to play with around here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why is this kid acting like a 40-year-old with two mortgages? It always takes a little time to make new friends. Yeah, I guess so. He's, he looks like he's been through it. He's just a kid. What about Tony? I don't want to call him Mrs. Dorrance. Well, how come you don't want to go? I just don't. Look, the kid always knows. The kid knows not to go to this hotel. There's something about it. How do you do? Bill, how do you do? Jack is uh, going to take care of the Overlook for us this winter. I'd like you to take him around the place. Okay, so they're gonna look after it. Jack is a school teacher. Formerly a school teacher. What line of work are you in now? I'm a writer. Uh, I don't like this. Our season here runs from May 15th to October 30th. Then we close okay. down completely until the following May. Because the winter is probably so intense in Montana. Seems to me that the skiing up here will be fantastic. That's true. The problem is the enormous cost it would be. The heat, everything. 20 feet of snow, there's no way to make it economically feasible to keep it uh, clear. Got it, so they have to stay there, alone, isolated. This site was chosen for its seclusion and scenic beauty. Well, it's certainly mm. got plenty of that. <laughs> Seclusion. Oh gosh, they're all the way out there on their own. The winters can be fantastically cruel. Cruel. Running the boiler, heating different parts of the hotel. Well, that sounds fine to me. Why did he do that? <laughs> did you guys see that? Jack Nicholson just looked at us right here. Well, that sounds fine to me. He goes from looking at the guy that's talking to him to looking directly at the camera and then back at the guy. Strange. Tremendous sense of isolation. Well, that <clears throat> just Great. happens to be exactly what I'm looking for. I'm outlining a new you, writing you project. You probably are looking for that. You, you're probably crazy. For some people, isolation can, <laughs> of itself, become a problem. Yeah, make you a little cuckoo. Not for me. Ever heard of island fever? There's a reason why people don't like to be isolated, secluded for long amounts of times. It makes you crazy. Cabin fever, island fever. It's not good. So they're going to get it. They're going to get it bad. How about your wife and son? How do you think they'll take to it? They'll love it. Right. <laughs> he's, 
It's just him. It's just him. It's the eyebrows. It's this this eye area. I have the unhinged look too. I can do it well. I happen to play the villain quite a bit of times. I don't suppose they uh, told you anything in Denver about the tragedy we had up here during the winter of 1970. Great, great. What is it? What is it? My predecessor hired a man named Charles Grady. He came up here with his wife and two little girls, I think about eight and ten. Oh, no. What did he do to them? He seemed like a completely normal individual. But at some point... He killed everyone. He must have suffered some kind of a complete mental breakdown. Mm Mm-hmm. Killed his family with an axe. Oh. Stacked them neatly in one of the rooms of the West Wing, and uh, then he... Uh, he doesn't even seem phased. Put uh, both barrels of a shotgun in his mouth. Police thought that it was what the old timers used to call cabin fever. Oh, that's so creepy. Which can occur when people are shut in together over long periods of time. There is no justification for that. There's something else wrong here. That is... Uh, this place is haunted. Quite a story. It's still hard for me to believe it actually happened here, but... It did. I'm glad that he's being honest, at least. Some people can be put off by the idea of staying alone in a place where something like that actually happened. And that's not going to happen with me. Yes, it is. my wife is concerned. With those eyebrows, it's definitely going to sure happen. I'm sure she'll be absolutely fascinated when I tell her about it. She's a uh, fascinated? confirmed ghost story and horror film addict. Oh, great. Oh, my gosh. I feel so bad for the wife and the kid. Tony. The dad. You think dad'll get the job? The kid doesn't want to go. Okay, he knows. He knows something's up. He already did. What He's gonna frick? phone Wendy up in a few minutes to tell her. Who is he talking to, kid? What was that voice change? What is the kid doing, guys? I don't like it. How's it going? Great. Look, I'm at the hotel. Oh my God! The kid predicted this happening. Sounds like you got the job. Right. Tony, why don't you go to the hotel? I don't know. Is he possessed? No, oh, come on, tell me. Don't want to. Please. Who's he talking to? No, don't tell me. Tell me. What the absolute heck? What the heck? Oh, the blood. Is that what the kid has seen? Like he's seen flashes of this in his head? From, ah! from Tony? Oh, that's horrible. Also, can we talk about the little girls? What were the little things that just popped up? I didn't even acknowledge that. It was just quick. These two. I've definitely seen this before. I've seen people dress up for Halloween in this. Okay, so they're two little twin girls in dresses looking a little sleep deprived and pale. But other than that, they're cute. Now hold your eyes still so I can see. That's good. Now the other one. Good boy. I don't like Tony, who he's talking to. He's talking to a, an imaginary friend, a demon. I don't know. When you were brushing your teeth, do you remember if you smelled anything funny? What? No. When he's brushing his teeth? What's the next thing you remember after you were brushing your teeth? I don't know, Sonny. Wake up, wake up, wake up, Danny, wake up. Oh, did he pass out? Poor thing. That's why she called the doctor. Can you remember what you were doing just before you started brushing your teeth? Uh, being possessed. Talking to Tony. Is Tony one of your animals? No, he's a little bit lives in my mouth. Oh, that's creepy. Tony's his imaginary friend. Could I see Tony? No. Why not? Because he hides. Oh my gosh, this poor kid is possessed. Where does he go? To my stomach. Oh, that's just a, a creepy description of an imaginary friend. Like if my kid ever starts saying that, I'm taking him right to a priest. Immediately. Does Tony ever tell you to do things? I don't want to talk about Tony anymore. Okay. The voice change that Tony had, like the creepiest thing, the flip between the little boy Danny and Tony. Stay quietly in bed for the rest of the day, okay? We're just going to go in the other room for a few minutes and talk. The mom's wardrobe is a, is a little strange. She's a little quirky. You know, the red tights and the dress. It's all a little eerie. Everybody's freaky, okay? Nobody's normal so far in this movie, except the doctor. I'm quite sure there's nothing physically wrong with Danny. He seems absolutely fine, but you should have seen him. Kids can scare you to death. (laughs) Scare you to death, yeah, right. Is the little kid the villain? Is he the villain because he's the one possessed? No, it's definitely going to be the dad. Mrs. Torrance, most of the time these episodes with kids are never explained. They're brought on by emotional factors. Maybe Tony isn't a bad possessive ghost because he's warning the kid not to go to the hotel because he can see what's going to happen. So it's possible that 
Maybe he's like a f- actual good imaginary friend. I don't know. Why is he warning the kid? You know, if he if he doesn't care. I guess then he started talking to Tony about the time we put him in nursery school. Then he had an injury, so we kept him out for a while. Even she has a very like such an interesting look to her. Shelley Duvall, there's something about her. She looks like a good screen queen. He dislocated his shoulder, purely an accident. My husband had been drinking. Danny had scattered some of his school papers all over the room. Oh God, the dad has a drinking problem, guys. Grabbed his arm, you know, to pull him away from him. Not good. It's just the sort of thing you do a hundred times with a child. On this particular occasion, my husband just used too much strength and he injured So he's been aggressive Danny's with his arm. child. Yeah, the doctor does not like that. He hasn't had any alcohol in the five months. I like how she's smiling about that and the doctor is just staring at her blankly. That is not a good sign. Okay, so the dad has a drinking problem. He's already hurt his son once. It's interesting after the dad hurt his son, then the son started getting possessed. So like maybe the dad transferred that bad energy. I'm hungry. Well, you should have eaten your breakfast. We'll get you something as soon as we get to the hotel, okay? Okay, mom. He doesn't seem like the nicest guy ever. Wasn't it around here that the Donner party got snowbound? I think that was farther west. What was the Donner? A party? They had to resort to cannibalism. Oh, great. I hope that doesn't come back. Like, why are we talking about cannibalism? Yeah. There's something Don't to worry, that. Mom. I know all about cannibalism. What? I saw it on TV. See? It's okay. I saw it on the television. Why is his dad smiling at that? It's not funny. I don't like the music. The music is making it so much worse. It's like this would be such a beautiful scene. <laughs> nope. It's funny how this music can ruin anything real quick. It just becomes immediately negative. This is our Colorado lounge. Oh, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful hotel. God, it I've never seems seen anything like a like good deal. You know, they get to live there and be in the mountains and the snow. Sounds so pleasant. Are all these Indian designs authentic? Yeah, this whole place has had an illustrious past. And it's hated. I like how the, the camera's place. panning room to room to room and just one straight shot. Oh, that was very satisfying. Lots of movies. This place stars. is massive, Royalty? too. You're really feeling all like it's too big to be here with just them. Like, the kid needs someone to play with. The kid does not need to be here alone with two adults. And, like, I mean, he already has someone to play with, Tony. Oh, great. Those are his friends? Wait, did it? Wait, those are the two daughters of the dad that killed his family with the axe. None of the other bedrooms are heated during the winter. Only one room is heated. Living room, bedroom, bathroom. And a small bedroom for your son. They're all going to be together in this one room of this giant hotel. Cozy. Yes, very cozy for a family. <laughs> it looks not cozy at all. It looks so uncomfortable. You have the rest of the hotel to move around in. Well, it's very uh, homey. Yeah. yeah. Homey. This is our famous hedge maze. <laughs> I like the way you looked at her, like, homey. I wouldn't want to go in there unless I had an hour to spare to find my way out. <laughs> Great. They're going to go in there and get lost for sure. The site is supposed to be located on an Indian burial ground, and I believe they actually had to repel a few Indian attacks as they were building it. Oh, great. It's haunted. The snowcat operates very much like a car. We uh, brought a decorator in from Chicago just last year to refurbish this part of the hotel. Oh, the carpets. Everything looks so retro and just that room. style so dated now. <sighs> I'll say. The velvet. We always remove all the booze from the premises when we shut down. We don't drink. <laughs> well, then you're in luck. That's right. Right? <laughs> He's definitely going to start this drinking here. Calvin He's going to just head chef. give in. Hi, Danny. I found him outside looking for you. Why is the kid by himself? I think it'd be a good idea if you could show Mrs. Torrance the kitchen. God, this is the kitchen, huh? Yeah, this is it. Are all the other rooms going to be cold, though? And only the their bedroom warm? That's what he hinted at. Right here is our walk-in freezer. Now, this is where we keep all of our meat. Oh, so they have all their food taken care of. That's kind of nice. 50 sirloin steaks and 20 legs of lamb. Do you like steaks. lamb, Doc? This room is going to come back. We're going to be in here doing something terrible. The butcher meat freezer. Uh-uh. How do you know we call him Doc? Big pardon? We call him Doc sometimes, you know, like in the Bugs Bunny cartoons. That's weird. Why did he know he's called Doc? He looks like a Doc, doesn't he? Nah. What's up, Doc? <laughs> I didn't think that was funny. If I was a kid, I'd start crying. We got canned fruits and vegetables. 
he knows something's wrong with this guy. The kid knows. How'd you like some ice cream, Doc? They're communicating. The poor kid sees ghosts, sees dead people. I don't know. Dick, can we borrow Mrs. Torrance for a few minutes? We're on our way through to the basement. The basement? You like ice cream, Doc? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you did. He asked him that twice, but the first time he asked if he liked ice cream was in his head, and then, then he said it out loud. How did he communicate with him? Telepathy? <laughs> It's amazing how much activity is going on today. Yes, well, the guests and some of the staff left yesterday. It's just crazy to me that any parents would leave their kids with a stranger. I just cannot understand that. Do you know how I knew your name was Doc? No. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? What? Are you dead? Are you a ghost? What are you? When I was a little boy, my grandmother and I could hold conversations without ever opening our mouths. What? That's She off. called it shiny. Oh. How long have you been able to do it? So it's just communication without speaking, telepathy. Why don't you want to talk about it? I'm not supposed to. Who says you ain't supposed to? Tony. Tony said it. Tony. Who's Tony? Tony is a little boy that loves my mouth. Can this guy help? It's like I go to sleep and he shows me things. Yeah, he like flashes images but when i wake up i can't remember everything it's creepy does your mom and dad know he tells you things no tony told me never to tell him what why doesn't tony want th has tony ever told you anything about this place oh yeah blood twins girls blood lots of blood maybe he showed me something try to think of what it was Maybe this guy's trying to help him, after all. You know, some places are like people. Some shine and some don't. Yeah. The Overlook Hotel here has something about it that's like shining. It's haunted. Is there something bad here? Yes. Tony already told you. He, he, the little kid knows. When something happens, it can leave a trace of itself behind. Mm. Not things that anyone can notice. Yeah, like the, the, the murder that happened here. I think a lot of things happen right here in this particular hotel. Oh, yeah. A lot of bad things. I get that feeling sometimes when I'm certain places. Like, I, we all do. We all have that instinct. What about room 237? Uh-oh. Room 237? You're scared of room 237, ain't you? He can tell. He knows. What is in room 237? Nothing. But you ain't got no business going in there anyway. Something's in there. Something's in there. You understand? Stay out. Oh, great. So is Mr. Halloran, he's not going to be here. He's just here to introduce them to the hotel. It's just them. You'd think that for five months, someone would check up on them. Like, they're one month in. They have four months to go. <laughs> It'd probably be pretty fun as a kid. You could do a lot here. But just, I don't like that the kid has to play alone. I don't... It's too, it's too creepy. But he's never really alone, is he? Because he's got Tony and he can talk to ghosts. I like the behind shot a lot. How we're going with him through this place. They do this a lot with the hotel. They just go in all the rooms. They kind of follow someone for an extended amount of time. This is, is a great location to shoot a movie. It's a creepy old hotel. It's perfect. Aww. Good morning, hon. What time is it? It's about 11.30. I love this. Oh, I love this so much. I love this so much. If you go to my Instagram, you'll see it, that I love people looking in mirrors. I love shots and mirrors. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I would make an entire movie of just people looking in the mirror and shooting them in the mirror. I would do that. How about taking me for a walk after you finish your breakfast? I suppose I ought to try to do some writing first. His eyes are strange. He keeps doing this thing where he sort of looks at the camera. When he pans his eyes, he looks at us. It's the second time he's done that. It's just a matter of settling back into the habit. Yeah, that's all it is. When he talks, it feels really condescending. I love it. When we first came up here, I thought it was kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> it is scary. When I came up here for my interview, we all have moments of deja vu, but this was ridiculous. Deja vu. Mm -hmm. Great, he felt deja vu. Is he... Okay, these are my theories. He's possessed by the guy that was here before him who killed his daughters, and that's why he feels deja vu, because he's possessed. And he's like, oh, yeah, I know this place, because a ghost is inhabiting him. A loser has to keep America clean. How's that? 
Look, I could not be this wife. I think it's cute that she wants to hang out with her kid and her husband in this big place. I wouldn't do it. This isolation is not for me. I'd let him go for five months and visit him, but I would not be there. The maze. Don't go in the maze. Let's take the rest of this walk in huh? Remember, this is where you're going to get lost. The guy told them that. Why would you have this type of... Why would you... Why would this be at a hotel, you know? It's way too easy to get lost. She's way too confident to walk in here with her child. That's creepy. He's looking down at the maze like that when they're in it. Whoa. They made it. They made it? They look like they're really trapped, actually. They don't look like they made it. So I think something's gonna happen with the way the music's building up. And the search continues for that missing Aspen woman. Oh, great. They may have to call off the search if a predicted snowstorm moves in tomorrow. Not a snowstorm. It's hard to believe a snowstorm could be that close. It is the biggest can. <laughs> So she's just in charge of feeding them. That's her job, taking care of him, I guess. This is his absolute favorite thing to do. He clearly really likes writing this. Why are they showing us this again? There's some significance. He's gonna go by room 237. That's it. Kid, keep going, keep going. I would love for Tony to, to talk to us, you know, give us an insight to what's going on here. Don't do it, don't open it. Oh great, it's locked. Yay! That must be the room where the other family stayed. The guy who killed his family with an ax. He's getting out of there. He just, I don't know who's gonna turn crazy. It has to be the dad. I mean, they could totally go a different direction and make it like the kid, but I think it's the dad. How's it she going? loves wearing red. She's always dressed in red. Fine. She always has something very bright red on, if you notice. And he's always in green, yes. I feel like. Whether it's a green tie, a green jacket. Weather forecast said it's gonna snow tonight. Great. What do you want me to do about it? Come on, hon. Don't be so grouchy. They're not really, like, very loving. I just wanna finish my work. Ew, when he smiles, I'm not happy about it. I feel like everything he says is condescending, you know? It doesn't feel genuine. Like when he smiles, it's when he's mad. He does the opposite. He's like, I just want to finish my work. <sighs> Why are you smiling? Like when she smiles, it's like sweet and warm. And when he smiles, it's like, it's, it's demonic. Okay, I understand. She's so sweet. You're distracting me. And it will then take me time <gasps> to get back to where I was. Understand? Yeah. Wow, wow. Oh, wow, that's so much snow. Wow. See, he's always in green. It matches his green eyes. I have green eyes. I love wearing green, but now he's ruining green for me. He's possessed. Whenever you show the white under your eye like that, possessed. I don't even know if I can do that. Can I do that with my eyes? It's like, how does he, how does he, do, is it doing it? I can't do that. Are the lines down? She's always wearing kooky, kooky outfits. This is KDK-12. KDK-12. <gasps> oh, she got in. This is KDK-1. Are the lines down by any chance? Over. <laughs> Quite a few of them are down due to the storm. Most winters, they stay that way until spring. <gasps> until spring? I think it might be a good idea if you leave your radio on all the time now. Okay, we'll do that. Yes, do that. Keep the radio on. It's so creepy the way we ride behind them. They look nice. Hello, Daddy. Come play with us. This kid's seen so much so he doesn't even scream when he sees something horrific like it. Come play with us, Daddy. Forever. <gasps> no, no, no. And ever. Oh, that is so gory and gross. The four little girls slaughtered like that. Oh, he doesn't want to see that. You should go back now. Get, leave this area. Why is he wandering by himself so much? I feel like this shouldn't be allowed. This kid's allowed to do too much. Tony, I'm scared. Uh-oh. Remember what Mr. Halloran said? It isn't real. I don't like when he changes his voice. It isn't real. Why are they showing us the days of the week? What's significant about that? I'm gonna have some coffee. Would you like some? Sure. Yeah, maybe stay in this room with your mother. We really haven't seen much interaction with the dad and them two. Wait, I don't think the dad's hung out with the kid at all or the wife. They're, we always see them together, but never the dad. He's always alone. Can I go to my room and get my fire engine? No. 
Don't do that, kid. Not right now. Daddy's asleep. Yeah, da daddy's always separate. I won't make a sound, I promise I'll tiptoe. But his daddy has anger problems. All right, but really don't make a sound. Does she have a trauma bond to him? Because why does she let her husband be so scary and aggressive? It's almost as if when he was speaking to her, she just was in a trance. She was like, okay. And the way she's making sure her kid doesn't wake him up because he'll probably be angry and hurt him. Oh, great. I don't like him in the mirror. Can I go to my room and get my fire engine? Come here for a minute first. The way the kid asked him if he could go in his room, he's scared of his own dad, I think. How's it going, Dad? Okay. The kid does not look okay. Have we lived time? Yes, Dad. He's scared of his dad, I feel like. Do you feel bad? No. He's a little bit tired. Then why don't you go to sleep? Why the creepy smile? I can't. I got too much to do. Great. Not sleeping. Insomnia. He's possessed. Do you like this hotel? I do. See, he's in green again, by the way. He's always wearing green, guys. I wish we could stay here. <laughs> no, sounds horrible. You would never hurt mom and me, would you? The kid knows. Did your mother ever say that to you? That I would hurt you? No, Dad. No, he just, look at you. He's looking at you and you're, you're giving sure? him the creeps. And you have hurt him Dad. before. I love you, Danny. I think the next thing is he's going to start drinking again. I'll never do anything to hurt you. Huh? Yes, Dad. Mm -mm. It's the eyebrows when he, he just looks like he's up to no good naturally. These old carpets. I'm glad they don't do this in hotels anymore. The modern look is so much better than this. Who's playing ball with him? Ma? Again, the kid should not be alone so much. Ma? He's so brave too. He never like runs away from anything. He just walks towards it. Oh no. The door of 237. How much you want to bet? Yep, it's open. Oh great. I got the cameras. A little shaky. Mom, are you in there? This is a slow build of a movie. We're an hour in and it's still very slow. But so far, like the set, the hotel, the rooms, the fashion, everything's so kooky. It's, 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 Stanley Kubrick definitely has a very artistic eye, eccentric, at least in this film, like the use of red and green and colors, everything's very artistic. I feel like the sets are very specific, like the colors. And there's always these shots of following the person when they're moving behind them. I don't like, I don't like being behind them. It feels eerie, you know? We're always trailing them, especially the kid. Uh-oh. He's finally getting some sleep, at least. And just the idea of being so far away in a room and having to travel so far to get to the other person is terrifying. What's wrong? Most terrible nightmare I ever had. Oh no. I killed you and Danny. I cut you up into little pieces. Why are you saying it like this? Well, stop. Everything's gonna be alright. The kid knows that you cannot trust the dad. The kid knows. Go play in your room for a while. Your dad's just gotta hit it. He's not listening. He wants to see what's up. Danny, why don't you mind me? Oh no. Danny. Is he hurt? Danny, what happened to your neck? It looks like somebody choked him. Like a rash. Poor thing. Or did the dad do that? The way she just cocked her head at him like she didn't know. Uh-oh. Okay, now her mama instincts are kicking in. You did this to him, didn't you? You son of a bitch! Now she's putting it together. Okay, okay, okay. Now, get the hell out! How could you? I, with the way that was shot was super scary. Like her realization as she's kneeling, look at this, look at this. It's, the, it's all, it, you can see the realization in her head. She's like, oh my God, he did it, he did it, he did it. And she immediately goes to pick her son up and get him out of there. Also, they switched colors. She's in green now and Jack's in red. They switched. Oh, oh he's possessed, he's fully gone. He goes, oh. <laughs> I feel like this is what's been hiding under him the whole time and all of his condescending comments and his creepy smile like this is the real him or he's possessed. Is it something in the, is, is it when you spend time in the hotel you get possessed by this ghost that makes you kill your family or does it just bring out like the true colors of people? Because why doesn't the 
wife get possessed. He's going to start drinking if there's alcohol. He's looking for booze. He's looking for booze. Maybe he's not going to find any. In my goddamn soul. See the red jacket, the red chairs. Ugh. Is there a beer? Does he see a beer? Hi, Lloyd. A little slow tonight, isn't it? <laughs> Is he looking at us? <laughs> he did it again. He did it again where he looked directly at us. Yes, it is, Mr. Torrance. Oh, now the bar is fully stacked. And now he's talking to someone who's not there. He's seen things. I like you, Lloyd. Best goddamn bartender. Do you think that these are people that used to work here? Like this guy, Lloyd, actually used to be a bartender. Maybe he's like seen the people of the past. Here's to five miserable months on the wagon. The eyes, the eyes thing again. I wouldn't touch one hair on his goddamn little head. But you already have. I love the little son of a bitch. Why would you call him a son of a bitch? I did hurt him once, okay? It was an accident. Okay, I did hurt him. <laughs> Why is she screaming for him? Thank God you're here. There's someone else in the hotel with us. What? There's a crazy woman. She tried to strangle Danny. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> no. He doesn't seem sympathetic at all. He saw this crazy woman in the bathtub. She tried to strangle him. The little boy seeing things. This guy seeing things. He has no sympathy in his face. Which room was it? I like how he wasn't really drinking because there's no alcohol there, but he's looking drunk like he was drinking. So it's like, what is reality and what is not? He is seeing things, but they're real to him because he's looking drunk. 10 inches of snow has fallen in just a few hours tonight. What? It, what? What? Airports are shut down, stranding thousands of oh, passengers. He's, he's a good guy. He's seen maybe what's happening at the hotel. Maybe he can come and save the little boy, you know? I don't like the noise. It's way too high pitched for me. He's getting flashes of information. Dude hasn't blinked in a minute. <gasps> oh. Are we gonna see the woman in the bathtub? Oh, I hate the decor in this room. Blah. If I went to a hotel and it, the rooms looked like this, I'd be gone. I'd be gone. Somebody's in the tub. He's definitely going to see the woman in the tub. They're probably going to get along. The way he smiled. Ew. I hate when his eyes are like that. That's how you know he's possessed. Red jacket, green bathroom. No words have been exchanged in way too long. I feel so uncomfortable. He's about to F a ghost. Did her face change or am I going crazy? <gasps> She's an old woman. I swear I saw her skin become like old and wrinkly. Okay, 237. There's a, there's a decomposing old woman. He's also a young woman in the tub. Okay. Is he calling them? I hope to check on the boy. He saw something. We're sorry. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Shoot. I guarantee you when they're picking out props and, and items in the rooms, they're like red. We need red and green in every room. Something that's really, really vibrant red. Like see how there's a red flower on the table and how the phone that he was calling was vibrant red. Or they have to have a pop of green, like the green bottle on top of the fridge, and like she has a green shirt. It's so consistent. Oh Did my you god. Find anything? No, I didn't see one goddamn thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did see something. In fact, he just cheated on you with a uh, with the woman. Why is he lying? Oh, I know why he's lying. Because he's gonna kill her. How is he? He's still asleep. I'm sure he'll get himself again in the morning. <sighs> There's not gonna be a morning. Tonight's the night, guys. Maybe Danny made a mistake. He must have gone in that room. The door was open. But who strangled him? He didn't strangle himself. What about those bruises on his neck? Somebody did that to him. Is he gonna gaslight her? I think he did it to himself. That's not possible. There is no other explanation. Yeah, so blame the kid. Yeah, that makes sense. Did I get it? 
He's, he's hearing this whole conversation. This boy, this poor boy, his eyes. It says red rum. It's murder spelled backwards. Murder. That poor kid. Yeah, you guys gotta go. She shouldn't be telling him this. You mean just leave the hotel? He's not gonna let you leave the hotel. I hate the high-pitched noise. I have let you fuck up my life so far, but I am not gonna let you fuck this up. Wow, that's some inner resentment that he's been holding on to. I'm afraid a lot of lines around here are down. There's a family up there all by themselves with a young kid. He's such a good man. I'd sure appreciate it if you give him a call on your radio. Aww. Uh, I hate when he's walking through this hallway. He's going to a party now. He's gonna get more sloshed, more hammered, more crazy. Good evening, Mr. Torrance. Good evening. Yeah, we're back in the 20s. Something really bad has happened to this hotel before that they didn't tell him. I mean, did all these people get murdered? Because there's the blood that's running through the hotel, like that flash back we see, or the kids seeing those images. That's not just one person's blood. That's a lot of people's blood. What would be so? Hair of the dog that bit me. Bourbon on the rocks. That'll do her. He acts so weird when he sits at this bar. No charge to you, Mr. Torrance. No charge? Your money's no good here. Because it's not real. Orders from the house. I'm the kind of man likes to know who's buying their drinks, Lloyd. Are you that kind of man, Jack? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry, sir. Ew. I intended to change my jacket this evening before the fish and goose soiree. Oh gosh. The bathroom is for you there. Red. Oh, use it. Man, they definitely paint repainted all these rooms to keep the color theme. What do they call you around here, Jeezy? Uh, Grady, sir. Delbert Grady. Grady? Grady? Grady's the guy that murdered the family, right? Haven't I seen you somewhere before? I don't believe so. Uh why does he keep doing that with his hands? Weren't you once the caretaker here? Fine, no, sir. I don't believe so. Mm. Married man, are you? I have a wife and uh, two daughters, sir. Oh, <gasps> it's him. We're meeting the guy. The Where murderer. are they now? Oh, they're yeah. somewhere around. I'm not quite sure at the moment, sir. He seems like such a normal person, too. It's Mr. Grady. You were the caretaker here. Does he... I saw your picture in the newspapers. You, uh... Murdered your family. Chopped your wife and daughter up into little bits. Then you blew your brains out. He looks like such a nice and normal guy, too. That's strange, sir. I don't have any recollection of that at all. So this is prior to him being the caretaker. It's like we're going back in time and seeing him when he was working here. You were the caretaker here. How many times are you going to say it? Jeez. You are the caretaker. You've always been the caretaker. So that's foretelling that he's going to kill his family. I should know, sir. I've always been here. So he's been trapped here. That's why he felt deja vu when he's walking around, because he's possessed by this spirit. Your son is attempting to bring an outside party into this situation. Did you know that? Oh, it was the little boy that was communicating with Mr. Holleran. No. He wants to make sure that the deed is carried out. He is Mr. Torrance. Who? A <laughs> a <laughs> a <laughs> cook. This isn't the, uh. Your son has a very great talent that he is attempting to use against your will. Oh no, no, he's definitely gonna kill his son. He's gonna try to. <laughs> he is a very willful boy. I've now determined that Jack Nicholson's character only smiles when he's being demonic. He doesn't smile when he's happy, he only smiles. When He's a very willful boy. Mm. He always curls his lip in, rolls his eyes up. It's a very, very un unforgettable look. Naughty boy. It's his mother. Perhaps they need a good talking to. Talking to? With an ax? My girls didn't care for the overlook at first. One of them tried to burn it down. Wow. But I wow. corrected them, sir. Those poor girls. And when my wife tried to prevent me from doing my duty, I corrected her. My duty. This demonic ghost <laughs> spirit has to carry out this will. And how history has to repeat itself. I could call the voice rangers first. They could start searching for us in case we didn't make it. She knows she's got to get out. If Jack won't come with us, I'll just have to tell him that we're going by ourselves. Yes, honey, you need to go by yourself. Do not tell Jack. Red rum. What the heck was... This is red, red rum. rum? 
Danny, what's the matter, honey? That's Tony. That's Tony's voice. Danny? Danny's not here, Mrs. Torrance. <gasps> what the heck? Come on, Dad. Wake up. Oh, that's so scary. You just had a bad dream. Everything's okay. No, it's not okay. Danny can't wake up, Mrs. Torrance. Oh my gosh, imagine seeing your little child speak in a devilish voice like that. Wake up! Danny's gone away, Mrs. Torrance. I don't think Tony's that bad. I think Tony's actually like nice. I think we should... Tony is nice. He's been warning the boy. He is not harming the boy. He wants to actually help him. It's just the gift of the shining is that they can connect with ghosts, I think. KDK1, calling KDK12. Do you read me? He's probably going to try to destroy it or smash it. Disconnect it. KDK yep. 1, calling KDK 12. Here it goes. This is KDK 1, calling KDK 12. No, 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 no. No. Are you receiving? It's terrible. I called a while ago about the folks at the Overlook Hotel. We tried to contact them, but they didn't answer. Somebody's got to go check on them. If you'd like me to, I'll be glad to try them again later on. I'll call you back later. No, you got to go. You have to go check. He's flying. He's, oh, what a good man. He knows he has to get back. Durkin's garage. Hi, Larry, this is Dick. He cares so much about the boy. I'm gonna need a snow cat to get up there, Larry. Can you fix him up with one? Yes, he's got connections. I love Mr. Hallerman. He's, he cares so much. Bad he should probably bring more what people with him, not snows. just go by himself. But hey, if, if he's bringing a snowmobile, he can get the wife and the kid out. The chain law is in effect right now at the Eisenhower Tunnel. Oh, it's blocked off. Is Danny back now? Like, it doesn't look like Danny. I hope he comes back soon. Hmm? a very disturbed kid. I'm just gonna go in and talk to daddy. Watch your cartoons, okay? He's not even speaking. Yes, Mrs. Torrance. <laughs> Why is only Tony speaking? I'm gonna lock the door behind me. Yeah, definitely lock the door. See, this is where her instincts are off. She's seen how crazy her husband's acting. He's been mean and aggressive. And she's gonna go talk to daddy like i mean she's bringing a bat okay that's what i'm talking about girl that's it that's smart but why would she even approach him she should just sneak out there should should be no conversation this is where she's messing up because once he hears oh she's trying to leave that's gonna piss him off jack let's read what he's been writing watch it be like red rum red rum red rum red rum how much you want to bet all work and no play makes jack a dull boy did you see the little typo? Oh, there's a lot of typos. Extra L's. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. That's all he's been typing for pages. Yeah, she knows. It's, it's done. Oh, he's creeping up behind her. And then he slowly moves in the frame. How do you like it? <sighs> Thank gosh she has the bat. Back away, run. What are you doing down here? He's in demon mode. I just wanted to talk to you. With a bat? Okay, what do you want to talk about? I I can't really remember. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. You should run. Run. I can't. Maybe it was a bat. Danny. Oh, and he can see in here at all. I think we should discuss Danny. The blood, the red. What should be done? The way he can hear the full conversation. I think you have some very definite ideas, and I'd like to know what they are. <laughs> I'd like to know what they are. Maybe he should be taken to a doctor. Okay, Maybe a doctor. Maybe he should be taken to a doctor. The way he's mocking her is so sad. You believe his health might be at stake. It is. He's possessed and talks like this. Have you ever thought about my responsibilities to my employers? Employers? I have signed a letter of agreement, a contract. And that's what he views his wife and his children, a burden getting in the way of his contract. Has it ever occurred to you what all would about happen him, to my him, future him. if I were to fail to live up to my responsibilities? She should just agree with him, yes. I'm very confused. Wow, she's she looks like she's going through it. Don't hurt me. 
This is so creepy. I would I would not be able to do this without actually being scared. He's so scary. I'm not gonna But well, he's creeping I'm up just on her. Bash your brains. What? Right the fuck in. <laughs> he's gonna bash your brains in as he laughs. I feel like he's gonna pounce soon. Put the bat down, Wendy. Stop it! No, the way he's reaching for her. Please! Give me the bat. Don't put your tongue out again! Don't stick your tongue out again! Give me the bat. Give me your bat. Give me your bat. <laughs> like, what is he gonna do next? Oh, good! Good! Good girl. That's it. That's it. That's it. Very smart. Now go down there and beat him a couple more times. Good job. Maybe stuff him in the freezer. You don't want him to wake up. He's bigger than you. She should have hit him more. She's impressive though that she did this. Crap. He's up. Throw. He's up though. Like, what are you doing? I'm so scared he's just gonna pounce up. Oh, thank God. She's so smart. Good job. She's so smart. Yeah, she's really smart. She should take all the knives. Wendy, listen. Oh. Let me out of here and I'll forget the whole goddamn thing. Look at this angle. No, you're such a liar. <laughs> Nobody's falling for this. I think you hurt my head real bad. I need a doctor. You liar. She's not falling for that. Honey. Don't listen. Don't give in. I'm gonna try to get Sammy down the sidewinder. Don't tell him your plan. I'll bring back a doctor. Wendy? What is he doing with his hand there? Is he gonna get out with that? Yes. He's gonna bust out, isn't he? You're not going anywhere. Go check out the snow cat in the radio. Check it out. How is he gonna get out of there? That seems pretty secure. He made sure she couldn't escape. Yeah. She's she can't get out. It's okay, honey. The cook chef guy is coming for you. Who's knocking? Wendy, it's Grady, Mr. Torres. Grady? Is the murderous man gonna be able to get him out? Cause he's gonna tell him how to get out. Grady. Hmm, he probably knows how. I see you can hardly have taken care of the business we discussed. It's almost as if when he woke up, he wasn't possessed. And now he's going to get back to being possessed. I'll deal with that situation as soon as I get out of here. I wonder. Oh, his head is actually bashed in. I and others have come to believe. Others. The other guests. Your heart is not in this. Just give me one more chance. Your wife appears to be stronger than we imagined. She is really strong. He's not going to like that, hearing that his wife is stronger than Only him. Only for the moment. Mm -mm. No. No. It's open. And th this guy is coming up. Oh, man, I hope he has a weapon with him. The fact that he's getting up the mountain in this, in the snow. What a good man. This doesn't make me want to go to the mountains anytime soon. I don't want to go. Red rum, red rum. The way he's saying red rum. This is why we said this as kids. There's a game we used to play where we say red rum, red rum. Why would we say this? I don't know what game it was. Red no, rum. no, no, no. What is he doing with that knife? How is she able to sleep knowing that her psycho husband is still in this building? She's just banking on him not being able to find them. She knows he can't get out unless he has help. But what she doesn't know is there's ghosts that helped him. Is he going to take mommy's lipstick and write something with the lipstick? This kid is such a good actor. Why is it that the certain letters are backwards and certain letters are forward? It's really, really... Uh, Upsetting. Red rum! Red oh! rum! Oh my god, can you imagine? Because in the mirror, it's murder! Oh my gosh, it's like he knew right then and there that he was coming. Oh no, you need to get out, honey. Oh no, he is angry. He is ready to kill. Where's she gonna go? Oh yeah, that's not gonna stop an axe. Is there a window? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, that's great. Oh my gosh, she can't fit though. The kid can fit at least. Wendy, I'm home. <laughs> the way he announces himself, Wendy, so demonic. 
I don't think she can fit, can she? She's gonna get pulled, she's gonna get pulled. Yeah, yeah, you gotta really get it up there. You gotta, honey, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta push it harder. You can't fit. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. No, no, no. Okay, she's got a knife. She can defend herself. That's right, girl. You're smart. Remember that. You got this. <gasps> Stay calm, honey. You have a knife. He doesn't know that. Oh my gosh, her acting. She is so scared. This is your moment Here's to stab him. Johnny. No, get him while he's there. Johnny? No. Yes! Yes! More, more. Oh. He's he's here. He's here, guys. Is he back in the the I thought he escaped. Is he going to get his mom? Oh no, he is actually hiding. Oh no, but like it's open. So is that gonna give it away that he's there? This poor man is gonna come in and see him with the axe. I hope that he he doesn't die. But now she can finally leave. He doesn't even have any weapons, does he? He had to have known what he's getting himself into, though. I would hope he has something on him. The door's just open. Uh-oh. Look, Dick, you better get the heck out. Anybody here? Hello? Oh, he's just screaming through the hallway. Like, here I am. Come and get me. Anybody here? Where is Jack? He's gonna jump out. Ah! Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! Oh, the kid just gave away where he is. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I feel so bad for him. He came to save him. Danny! Danny boy! Oh no. Danny boy. Danny, Danny, no, no. Thank gosh he has a limp and he can't run that fast. The chants are so creepy. The music. Is she gonna see Dick's dead body? What the? F what the? F what is that? What the? F ah! Leave. Go. 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 So there has been horrible things that have happened in this hotel specifically. The cult used to be here. Oh no. So that way he can see the boy where he's hiding. Oh man, this is so scary. In the maze, in the snow. Luckily the boy's been in here before, so maybe he knows a secret place to hide. So scary. Yes, he's following the footsteps, I knew it. That's the only problem with the snow, is that you can follow exactly where he's going. He's trapped now. Wait till she sees the dead guy. Ah! <gasps> what? Great party, isn't it? Dude, these people are demonic. They're having a demonic 1920s party. I get it. It was never the 1920s. They were just dressed like great, great Gatsby for a theme party. It's, it's, it's a cult. They killed people here. They had a cult party and it's a curse. That's what it is. Right when he has those you. eyes, it's done. It's done. When he looks down. <laughs> these people did something bad, bad. These people are evil. It's interesting to me that now she can see all of it. Danny, trick him. Yeah, trick him with your footsteps. That's right. Yeah, that's that's good. What is he gonna do? <laughs> the more demonic he gets, the happier and the more he laughs, guys. <laughs> is he gonna bury himself in the snow? This kid is really smart. Maybe Tony is telling him what to do. This. There's been a lot of blood that's been spilled in this hotel. So he, he walked and he backtracked his footsteps, which is genius. He tricked you. Oh gosh, when he smiles, you know that's bad. Did he figure it out? I feel so sad for him. I'm really rooting for this kid, guys. Yeah, he tricked you. He got you. Ha 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 Oh, that's cool. <gasps> no, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! See, he doesn't know how to get out of here. But the, the boy knew because he went with the mom. Smart, smart kid. Gosh, I hope the man left the keys in the snow truck. <gasps> the engine. Yes! He's lost it. They got out. 
He did not freeze with those eyes. Yes, he did. <laughs> Wait, how's he doing that? He's just looking up. How do you get the whites under your eyes to show like that? Oh, now it's happy, cheerful music, huh? He's there, right there in the middle with all these creepy, creepy people. Oh, it was in the 20s. <laughs> I thought so, 1921. So how is he in 1921? What does the photo mean? What is it interpreted as? It can mean a couple of things. Look, I love when a director doesn't spoon feed the audience. I love when he gives us the opportunity to decide what happens to interpret it on our own. And I, I almost think Stanley Kubrick is the type of director that wants there to be many interpretations of it. He doesn't want there to be one answer. Why is it like this? How come this happened? I don't think he's the type of guy that he's okay with some things. Oh, Milena, the costume designer. I did not know Milena Milena worked on this. Look. Okay, so I, the first film set I was ever on was a year ago in Atlanta, filming for Megalopolis, and she was the costume designer, Milena Canonero. I don't know how to say her last name, I, but she's a wonderful, beautiful woman, so classy and elegant. And I think she also did um, Clockwork Orange, too. And she's doing the movie Megalopolis, which comes out this year, 2024, directed by Francis Ford Coppola. So it's going to be really good. She's extremely talented. That's why the clothes were so good. I feel honored that I got to meet that woman. But yes, I can tell Stanley isn't dead set on having a direct answer to everything. I don't think I've seen a movie directed like him before. Yeah, I'm going to watch more Stanley Kubrick movies. Thanks for being here. Let me know what I should watch next in the horror genre. I'm glad we started watching horror movies here. I'll see you for The Exorcist, maybe. It's also part of my homework for my horror film. <sniffs> Gotta watch it. All right, bye guys.